white guilt. Let's talk about it. You two as individuals might be genuine, well-intentioned human beings, but the optics of two seemingly middle or upper middle class individuals sipping what looks to be wine or champagne, red wine, cheap red wine, while concluding that poor white people still have privilege, I don't think we ever said what poor, but anyways, does this conversation absolutely no justice? Nice watch, by the way, which it is, it is a yeah. nice watch. Nice they don't know Miss Bake. <laughs> That's our director. Um, and, and you know, it's a, it's a, a, a tiny bit more. Even if you two have the best intentions and want to create a better world for all, which I assume you do, I mean, this is really somewhat heartfelt, you know? Mm -hmm. You're engaging from an ideologically uh, racialist framework that kneecaps any attempt to attain those goals, and it goes on and on. But I did want to, like, again, you're coming from assumptions too. Uh, again, we right. are middle class. Yeah. Right? We are. Hard middle class yeah. on the low end of yeah. No class. I mean, I get all my clothes from thrift stores, consignment shops. You can really get some nice clothes at consignment shops. Just saying, this is $8.50 wine, right? If um, I remember correctly, this is a $3 shirt that I got from the thrift store for a, uh, a gig that I was trying to get. There you that go. That I didn't get, but uh, uh, hope you're watching. So, but again, you know, I don't know. So I'm saying is like, I mean, you know, appearances can be de deceiving, but I do understand. And then at first I thought, oh, what would he want us to be dressed like? Like in hoodies, drinking beer on the back of a truck? And then I was like, I hate beer, man. I just <laughs> can't freaking do it, but I almost did it for you. I really did. I'm just wondering, like, what would you want us to look like? So there's two questions I have. Yeah. It's like, what would you want us to look like? Yeah. And then also... I don't think, because I think when people hear white privilege or privilege, they hear um, money. They hear money, right? They hear money. Right. And that's not what we're saying. I don't feel like, and I'm sorry if it did feel like this, I don't feel like we were ever trying to say, poor white Americans, you have so much more privilege than someone else. Privilege, we right. were dealing with that in a different way way yeah yeah absolutely I think that when we talk about and, and also there's a thing that so I can talk from my point of view not all black people but right. I know that there is also a privilege that I have as a black person and it is not highly educated I went to Central loved it undergrad that's my whole education thing twice uh, so I started an art an art professor who literally told me yeah you know what I really love your art, but there are not a lot of famous black artists. So I just feel like your your fight is all uphill, and so I dropped out of school. He's so talented, though. We should post some of your art. Oh, shucks. So good. Um, but yeah, so that that's one of those sort of things that, that, that happened to me. But I also know that where a lot of my own privilege goes is that because of whatever circumstances I had in growing up, but I got to do a lot of code switching. I got to play chameleon. Now, some people would say, that's horrible too. I didn't know it at the time. It was just right. what I did. I know that I get to be, for a lot of people, the safe black guy. I know this is one of my roles. I get to use it in business. I use it in a lot of places. I think, sort of to address what you're talking about, if I were very street and uh, speaking in slang and dress shabbily. I'm not 100% certain that you would have ever clicked on this video to watch it in the first place, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that there is this place where we, and we all do this in life, right? We try to go to a place where people are more likely to listen. I could be real mad about something with my wife, but I walk in the <clears throat> house screaming, yelling, she's not listening to me, right? She's on the defensive. So if I want my voice heard, I'm gonna drive around the block a little bit, calm down, whatever the things are I have to do. So for us, we're one, trying to keep things a little light because these are heavy topics. We could easily yes, have sat out. behind a desk with one of those big globes behind us and a bunch of like encyclopedias and stuff and legal <clears throat> and suits and just tell you about uh, black people getting hit by rocks at the fair, right? But right. Jesus, who, want, who wants to listen to that? Well, we are talking about it, but right. we want to do it. We want to, we want, and part of the thing is like, we just want other people to have conversations too, yes. right? Like we, 
it is a good thing, I think, to have conversations and, and, and hear these things. Um, but yeah, I don't know, that's all I had. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's all I uh, had. Yeah, really, the only other thing I have is that, um, speaking of drinks, uh, someone's gonna have to give me some more. Top it off, top it off. I gotta top, top off here. Yeah. When you're low, but, less than a finger. But I, I like that they were trying. It's just, I, I think the thing goes to, I think people hear money when they hear privilege. Yes. And it is not the same thing. I'm and that, poor. I don't have privilege. Right. That's not the same thing That's at all. not what we're talking about. Right. Yes. So just because Gerard has a nice watch, whether it's real or it's not, <laughs> does I love not people mean... people think that my deep blue watch is this really cool. Uh, it is cool uh, watch. It's a nice watch. Is it's it cool. Nice I got it uh, for... Uh, Father's Day special. Oh no, Veterans Day special. Oh. Uh, that was eighty bucks. No, oh, so. see, and not everybody can spend eighty bucks on a watch. No, it's true. I bet the person that made that comment could probably buy an eighty dollar watch though. But yes. I could be wrong. I made yes. an assumption that is completely. That not fair. is but yes. Anyway, my eighty dollar watch that I probably shouldn't about Deep Blue. Anyway, it's got some issues on it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but again, I just like we have to keep reiterating. Like we're not having the conversation that privilege means money. I mean, sometimes, right. you know, sometimes you can equate it in that way, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talk talking about access. Anyway, but after this, I am gonna go get my Aston Martin and uh, <laughs> drive to Whole Foods for uh -huh. shopping. <laughs> I wish I had an Aston Martin, or even had seen an Aston Martin in real life. I don't even know what that is. I know it's, it's a fun car, a... what's wrong with oh. you? Okay, you know what? Okay. We're not even cutting this part out. Everyone ah, needs to know. We I'm are, sorry. We are not talking no, about the No, but you know what? You, you know why? You know why I didn't like James Bond for so long? So sexist to women, those movies. Not anymore-ish. But I'm sorry. Uh, like, still a little bit, but yeah. Eh, oh, come you. on. Yeah, I, As a woman, I, I take such offense to those. Earlier I loved James Bond until I got old, and I was like, Roger Moore is my favorite. Oh God! Oh God! Okay. So anyway, now a bunch of people hate us. They're like, "You're talking shit about James Bond." Oh boy! Comments. Oh boy! We're in Bring us a comment. Yeah. Okay. There'll be a lady Bond. So I'm really excited. About <laughs> I know. It. Very excited. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I grew up in a boy's home and joined the military at 17. If you were to look at me, I have a fairly light complexion. How much white privilege do I have? Do I owe myself reparations? 